marvelous. I've been going from one place to the other. I have series of proof in my hand here. Running tests, doing some certain things. I had miscarriages. And a doctor in FMC gave us some places to run our tests, and they did some in their own. When they went on strike recently, I was director when I, our father in the Lord visited Enugu State during divine touch for total deliverance. I was having, during the course of this, my pastors in my group, I met the three of them, they told me I should have faith that Papa is going to start a global crusade. I should have faith. In different times, I met the, I met the three of them, not the same day with my husband. I get to that place, he made us, we told us to have faith. We connected our faith with the three pastors I have in my justice group. Hoping on God, Lord, what the Lord is about to do. Then the money we planned for the surgery, said so we should not go. Let's wait and see what the Lord will do in the presence of his man of God. What the Lord will use him to do. So, we key in into those pastors' word, and then believing the first program came and passed, the second one, the doctor said that the revival cannot prevent me from taking him. Luckily, I took him. On the three months when we have this divine touch, I started feeling pains behind my waist, as if the book put fire on my waist. And then I have miscarriage. And I went to the doctor and I checked. The doctor said I was having the thing is increasing, that is, is in uterus, and I cannot keep the baby. The thing cannot, the baby cannot stand. So little did I know I was a little bit worried. On the final day of the papa, I came out from the hospital and I went and sat at the back of the program. So later on, the, past, uh, the doctor said we should come back on Monday. I went back on Monday. He asked me to bring the previous test scan. And this is the scan. Praise the Lord. After giving him the scan, he said we should go back and run another scan again. When we run another scan, Over the vibrant has gone. The vibrant has gone. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus and it's gone forever. Amen. Amen. God bless you, sister. Go and enjoy your miracle. No more fibroid, no more miscarriage, no more affliction. Number two. Let's have the praise the Lord. By the grace of God and peace, Boniface, from Peace District. Possibility Group, Oloso Region. Praise the Lord. I have catalogs of testimonies of what God has done during, through the ministration of our Lord in, in the Lord, our Father in the Lord. But time will not permit me. I start with this. In the year 1994, I was invited to a crusade like this, Time to Love, in Cardinal State at Maraban Rido. And the first night, I went to this program. I never, I've never seen our dad in the Lord before. He climbed the pulpit and he started preaching. I was a religious sinner, but that message titled Holiness and Heaven changed my life. And since then, I've never remained the same. Praise the Lord. The second testimony, it was 2009. I had my second baby and my second baby was 10 months. And She became sick. She didn't crawl. If you look at her, you will know that something is wrong. For that eight months, she cannot crawl. I went to the hospital, and they say she is testicular. And she was seriously sick for days. She couldn't even eat. Everything was IV. Thank God we had power night. October 2009, we'll have a power night. And our just preached a message titled, Whatsoever in the Word of God. And this baby was so weak. I lie her down and I believe God. After the message, that day was this, the day we went to, from the, not to the uh, government hospital in, to, in the town for that test. I told God, you say whatever. My baby blood is in the hospital. I want you to change SS to another thing that is not contrary. And I tell you, the following day we went to collect the results after two days. And behold, that Lord will change. I'm telling you, that baby that could not eat, 
Immediately we came back from the power night. She couldn't stool for how many days. She stood. She started eating her body chain. And between that October to December, she started working without crying. Praise the Lord. The third testimony. The year 2016, our daddy in the Lord came to Abuja here for divine visitation crusade. In fact, it was terrible then. To eat was difficult. When we came back from the, I went the, to the retreat with a great expectation that God will do something in my life. When I came back, it, it became as if something was, something, nothing happened. But I know that God has done something because I believe the declaration of the man of God. After some days, there was nothing in the house except 20 naira. I don't know what I will use 20 naira to do. And somebody dashed me at the egg. We use that container and buy granola and eat please, it. Uh, land up so At last, praise the you. Lord. In the night, our dad in the Lord visited me in a dream and prayed for me. Two days after, I was called and I was given a, a work of 300,000. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I wondered what brought me out this evening. I have been, my brethren, I have catalogs of testimonies. Time will not permit me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What brought me out this evening? Let me go straight because of our time. I have been sick for seven years. More than seven years because it was 2003. I remember because our dad, our late daddy, Pastor Noko, that was the time I went to see him. And they said, I have inflammatory of the right kidney. It was trouble. My district, they know. My pastors, my group pastor, my arrow, they know. Tell us how it's going. How the Lord removed it quickly. When we came for a uh, divine connection crusade, I packed all the x ray and all the scan, everything. I went there with hope that I would give my testimony there. But after the crusade, nothing happened. I dropped everything there. I went on with tears. Praise the Lord! That was on Saturday, on so that our daddy in the Lord came to the pulpit. And he, he was giving some research. He said, it's like when you have a car and you have a problem, you carry it to the manufacturer. And you go there and you drop it. I said, yes, Lord, I drop all the nyama nyama in Kado. I didn't come back with those results. And you are going to give me a new brand body, my brethren. Praise the Lord. It looks as nothing happened, but I want to tell you, since last month, all the things that I've not been doing before, I started doing this. Everything I've got. To God be the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord has done it. God bless you, sister. Put your hands together for Jesus. We take just one more. The last one. The rest, please, after the program tonight, you'll be the first there to give your testimony. The very last one now. Praise the Lord. My name's uh, Augustine Osagi Roland. On the 24th, I came to the solution ground with pains, and see if I was beating my waist. All around my body was like paining me. So when Papa was praying, I felt pain, and he said that we should that we should touch the place that was paining us. So I knelt down and I hold, held my waist. At that very spot, as Papa before Pap, before Daddy would declare. So we stand up. He declared, and I stand up. I felt a move from my bone to the knees down to my foot. Since from then till now, I've, I've been free. And secondly, I want to thank God for giving my life to Christ Jesus. Because I'm a new convert. Put I appreciate. Put your together for Jesus. Saved from sin and healed, delivered from all oppressions. Put your hands together for Jesus again. The Lord has done it for him and done it for all the others. Tonight is your own night. Believe and you receive in Jesus' name. We have the choir coming up now. And let's be expectant. Let's be expectant. Let's be expectant. And you will receive your miracle. I say you will